Hey everybody, welcome back to Toy Picker Infinity's channel. And I am continuing to roll along with my robot reviews of the Gadaiken series. And I'm going to start with uh, today Sun Vulcan. Sun Vulcan is one of the super robots out of the first series of Gadaiken. So it came with the first 10 robots that showed up to the United States from the Popey Robot line. Um, Sun Vulcan, a lot of people don't know, is also a Power Ranger, or Super Sentai, as they were originally called in Japan. This is a Megazord, um, and a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know how far back the Power Rangers go. They actually go back to the early 80s, if not the late 70s, which in Japan they weren't called Power Ranger. It was Super Sentai, and so Sun Vulcan was in the very infancy of Super Sentai. It was the fifth show and the fifth Megazord. And it is also, it's very famous, at least in my mind, because Super Sentai would probably have not moved to combining robots later on without Sun Vulcan. Sun Vulcan is the very first combining Megazord where they actually use several things to combine into the robot. It also had only a three three guy team and it was only guys there wasn't a female ranger or a female sentai member it was just three guys that piloted the robot so here is sun vulcan a, an actual megazord and one of the early combining versions from super sentai or the power rangers by bondi so let's go ahead and get into them so it has a pretty awesome box shows all the weapons and all the stuff inside all the parts of the robot and as you can already tell it's very colorful like megazords always tend to be so we'll go ahead and open her up and inside sun vulcan's encased in its window box with all of its weapons and everything like that it has the vol hand the sun sword vol shield vol tenfa which is a little short sword and then it has all the missiles foot missiles and the the bull chains as they're called, but they're actually the chains that hang on the crane when it transforms into the crane. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up so you can see what it looks like on the inside. And I'm pretty careful with this one because the window box and everything is in really good condition. Now this Sun Vulcan, even though the box and everything is in really good condition, it actually came yellowed and stuff like that. So I've spent a little time trying to repair I still have one more leg to go. This leg over here needs a little bit of work on him to get him cleaned up, but I'm in the process of doing that. I love fixing these things and getting them back to their original quality by restoring them, and it's a lot of fun to do. Um, the good thing about all Japanese robots is that they have a lot of screws and stuff in them, so they're really easy to take apart. So if you want to take apart others and mix and match parts to get yours back to a very nice condition, it's easy to do. As long as, of course, you can find the parts, and that's the most difficult thing. But when you do, then you can start working on restoring your robots. So here's Sun Vulcan in his styrofoam coffin, of course, with all of his gear. Um, the booklets over here around the sword. And so let's go ahead and take him out. So here's the leg. And then here's the body. Like I said earlier, there's only three pilots. So, of course, there's three parts. So each part is controlled by uh, one of the pilots. So before I turn it into a robot, I'm gonna go ahead and do the vehicle mode first. So let's go ahead and do the jet since I have them right here in my hand. So you wanna push the buttons, you fold out all the plates, turn it over. There's a button back here that unfolds the wing plates back here. And then you gotta hit the button one more time what you want to do is make sure you push this nose piece out. There's a little nose piece that goes in here, and that's what covers the head. You don't want to just flip it up, because then you'll break this piece right in here. So it flips up pretty easy, and then, you know, it turns into the jet, and which is called the Cosmo, the Cosmo Vulcan, or the Cosmo Jet. And it has rocket launchers up here on the shoulders, and they're big missiles. You put these big yellow missiles in here. And the missiles are pretty much the same one as, like, Tetsujin 28. Uh, but they're yellow instead of red. But those yellow missiles uh, will also work in Tetsujin 28. So if you lose a couple missiles, get some yellow ones and paint them red, I guess. I wouldn't really do that, but you can. <laughs> anyway, so in jet mode, probably the best thing to do, I guess you can leave the fists on, but it looks kind of funny when you're flying it around. Just unplug the fists, and there you go. 
There's the jet. Now, the legs are probably one of the most thing you have to be cautioned with, because right here, there's these little yellow clips. Goggle 5, Dynaman, and Sun Vulcan all have the same clips on them. Um, so there's actually a lot of parts available with these break, and there's clips on each side, but you want to be really careful with them because when as these get old, they get brittle. So when you lock them together, you want to make sure you do it. Don't do it straight on. You do it kind of at an angle and very slowly latch them together. You know, and it'll kind of pop, might scare you a little bit, but it'll be just fine. So the legs are together. Then you can unfold the dumps. A lot of people don't know that this is here, but on the side, the sides pop out and wheels pop out. And a lot of people don't know that. They just set it down and go, okay, there it is. The legs are, looks like this funny looking crane, but when you unlock the wheels, it actually makes it look more, a little bit more crane tankish. And so then the crane parts are on the back and you flip this yellow, little yellow switch and the cranes quickly flip on over and then you can open it up on the top and same with this. Ooh, I'm missing one. One must have fallen out inside the box. Well, that's okay. I'll get it in a little bit. But anyway, so there's the crane parts. And inside here is the bull whips. And then what you can do is these little chains. Um, I guess I can go ahead and take, take one of them out. All the stuff is going to fall out anyway. So here's the bull chains. And the bull chains would lock right on top of the crane arms. And so then they hang down, and then you've got the crane arm. I'm going to have to figure find the other one. It's in the box, I think, underneath the cardboard or something. But there's, there's the whole set, so all the missiles. And then it also comes with these little chrome missiles, and these little chrome missiles can fit into the sides right here. And so, even though these just shoot out by themselves, you know, they have little grooves in it, so it looks like a multi-missile launcher. Okay, and so there's the vehicle mode of Sun Vulcan. So let's get to the robot now. So the robot, you'll just go ahead and pull this stuff right back off. You want to hold your switches down to make sure that you flip these cranes back over and do those carefully. And you want to flip the cranes over be before you close the doors, because once you close the doors, you're going to, ah, I have to open it back up to do the crane, or to put the cranes back in. So shove the wheels back up inside, close the doors, flip the dumps over. Let's pull the missiles out of here. Because sometimes if, if you squeeze those off, if you're trying to transform, they'll just squeeze off and shoot across the room. And so same thing, when you're taking it apart, you very carefully want to just turn it at an, a little bit of an angle to pop them out. You never want to pull them straight across because it'll pop the clips. And then you'll have to find some new legs to, to, for the clips. Okay. So just start folding up the wings. Fold up the back. Remember to push the nose back in. You don't push the nose back in, it's not going to work correctly. Close the fists down, or close the chest plates down. Grab the fists. Lock the fists onto the arm. Oh. And there I am knocking over one of the legs. Luckily it's the one that's not so good. Needs still, like I said, needs a little repair. But there's Sun Vulcan. So Sun Vulcan the robot, the Megazord, he's ready to fight. He has shoulder rocket launchers he can use, and then he has all this cool gear that you can put. You can put the chain whip on, you can put this little mini shield on. He's got his, of course, typical Power Rangers or Chigokin style diecast robot giant sword. And so he can use his giant sword for his giant sword attack. And then he's got a colorful shield. Most of the uh, Gadaikin robots that you see are Popey robots. You know, the shields tend to be chrome or whatever, but there's a couple with colored ones. And so Sun Vulcan happens to have a very colorful shield, 
you know, so it, it might look weird to some people, but you know, like I said, this is a Megazord and Super Sentai or the Power Rangers, their stuff tends to be a little more colorful than a lot of the other typical robots, save, you know, uh, Go Lion or Voltron, which is really colorful too. But that is Sun Vulcan. And again, he's from series one of the Gadaiken series. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, leave them in the box below and have a good day.